Proper and timely maintenance is crucial for trouble-free functioning of any device, and your ESCO ULT is no exception to this rule. We strongly recommend that you follow the maintenance schedule suggested here under in order to obtain optimal performance from your ESCO ULT. The surface can be cleaned by wiping down with clean water and a mild detergent and sponge. The air filters are the first line of defense against dust and dirt that might be pulled into the condenser. It is necessary to inspect and clean the filters on a regular basis. To clean the air filter, open the, both the left and right bottom doors. There are two air filters installed. Remove the condenser air filter and wash it in water. Dry it out, place it back in the air filter holders. The air filter condition should be inspected and washed once in every three months. Replace the filter if it is too dirty or worn out. Cleaning the condenser is one of the most important tasks to ensure the unit operates properly and efficiently. A clogged condenser will often result in poor performance and an increased power consumption. To clean the condenser, pull open the left and right bottom doors. Using a household type vacuum cleaner to vacuum the fins. Make sure you can clearly see through the fins after the vacuum operation is completed. The condenser should be cleaned once every six months or more frequently if the area is dusty. The door gasket is an important part to maintain and seal the freezer to achieve a proper temperature. Over time, the gasket can get deformed or damaged if it is not properly kept clean from ice. To clean off the ice and frost accumulating on the gasket, use a dull plastic scraper to wipe off ice and frost accumulation that sticks to the gasket surface. Wipe off the water from the gasket before closing the door. The door gasket should be cleaned at least monthly. More frequent cleaning may be required if dirt or excessive frost buildup prevents the door from closing properly. Use a soft cloth and remove any frost buildup from the vacuum relief board located at the back of the main door. Cleaning of the vacuum relief board should be performed regularly depending on how often and how long the door is open. The amount of frost accumulation in the freezer depends on how often and how long the door is open. As the frost gets thicker, the efficiency of the unit is adversely affected. The frost acts as an insulator as it slows down the system's ability to remove the heat from the freezer. This causes the unit to use more energy. To remove the frost, move all products to another freezer that operates at the same temperature as the ESCO unit temporarily. Turn off the power to the ESCO unit. Open the outer and inner doors to let the unit warm up.
place some towels or other absorbent material around the freezer to absorb any melted frost that might run out. Once the freezer is thawed, wipe off the condensation with a towel. Use a mixture of warm water and light detergent to clean the interior and exterior of the unit carefully. Do not let water drip into the refrigeration and electrical compartments. Once cleaned, dry and power up the unit. Locate the battery and check its voltage output using a digital voltmeter. If the voltage goes below 12 volts, replace the battery. It is good practice and in some cases regulatory requirement to maintain a log of all maintenance work carried out on your freezer.